Welcome everyone to Dogi Yoga. My name is Melody. This is Arlo. This is Mel and they're both a bit wet from swimming in the river today. And today we're doing our day one of our 30 day beginner yoga challenge. So I'm super excited to have you on the mat with me. Thank you for joining us today. Um, and what we're doing is focusing on our foundational yoga poses. So basic yoga postures for beginners to build ourselves up step by step. So we're going to start on our mat today. Come on down and lay onto your back. So take your time, get comfy, knees face the sky, palms beside our hips and just ground down your big toes. You can flop your knees in towards one another if you like, walk your feet out as wide as your mat. Just close down the eyes and start to arrive. And for many of you, welcome to your very first yoga class today. Congratulations for taking that first step. Inhale, start to feel your body expand. Feel the belly, the ribs, the collarbones rise. Take a really big breath. And exhale, just let it all out. Let all the tension in the body go. Two more like this. Inhale, big, beautiful breath, filling up the belly, the ribs, the collarbones. And exhale, release. One more, inhale. And exhale. If you have your knees together and your feet out wide, just gently walk your feet in so they're in line with your hips and your knees are pointing straight towards the sky. We're gonna bring our right knee in towards our chest and place our hands on our knees. Give ourselves a little squeeze. You can keep that left knee bent or send it long, whatever feels good for your body. Two breaths here, just fill up, really notice the sensations. You might rock gently side to side. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. When you're ready, gently place this right foot back on the ground. Release. Bring the left knee into your chest and give yourself a hug option here to lengthen that right leg if you like. Two breaths here, just really noticing the sensations. And just being. You might notice that you're slowing down a little bit. Starting to notice the sensations around you. You might feel the connection with the mat or the carpet or whatever you're laying on underneath. And when we're ready, we're gonna put that left foot down. Bring that right foot, if it's long, and connect it back onto the ground. When we're ready, we're gently gonna bring both knees into our chest. Our hands can stay on our knees or we can wrap our arms around our knees. Completely up to you and just see what feels good in your body. So you might like to rock gently side to side here. Just explore, notice what feels good and what doesn't. You might take figure eights or you might take big circles with the knees going one way and then the other, really massaging out our lower back today. Just notice what's coming up for you. There might be quite a few niggles, quite a bit of tension in our lower back. It's a really nice, gentle relief. And when we're ready, we're gonna come up into a seated position. So you can just place your hands down and gently use them as supports to come up. Or if you're a little bit more active, you want a little bit more spice, bring your knees into your chest. We're going to rock back and forward on our spine a couple of times, really massage it out before we come up into a seated cross-legged position. Now, if cross-legged is sitting dif uh, is difficult for you, and it is for a lot of us, our hips do not like sitting cross-legged if we haven't done it since preschool or primary school. So extend one leg to make it easier. Send it out to the side. Grab a cushion, a towel, anything to stick it under your tailbone. You might elevate yourself up a little bit. You might have the knees super bent just to take that pressure off the hips. 
So wherever we are, we're gonna place one hand on one knee, one hand on the other, and imagine there is a string running all the way from our tailbone to the crown of the head, pulling us up into the sky, growing taller. And exhale, just soften and release. Two more like that, just practicing, growing tall, opening up the collarbones, opening up the heart, and releasing. Oh, open, just soften, just go, just relax. And we're gonna lengthen once more, and we're gonna place, I'm going to mirror you, place your right hand on your left knee. So we're just crossing our arm over our body here, and we're just gently gonna place our left hand behind us. We're gonna find that same length. Imagine that string running from our tailbone to the crown of the head to the sky. And exhale, we're gonna send our gaze over to the left. We've got a beautiful pelican flying off the jetty here today when I'm looking at, so you might be looking at the side of the room. So just flow here with your breath. Just find that beautiful rhythm, that rise and fall. As we come into a really beautiful, gentle spinal twist. Something that you'll do in almost every yoga class that you will find in person or on the internet. So gaze can be towards the side of the room or you can look over that back shoulder if you want a deeper revolution, deeper release. Looking over the water here, there's some beautiful seabirds today. Might have dolphins, we will probably definitely have dolphins at some point throughout the 30 days. They come by here all the time. So definitely stay tuned for that. And when we're ready, we're gently going to come back to center and just feel that shoulder release. Just how notice how nice that feels. And we're simply just going to swap it the other way. So left hand on our right knee, right hand behind us, find length. And just send our gaze over. So it can be to the side, or you can look over that back shoulder, all the while lengthening. And then find that revolution. Length and revolve. So we're not trying to force this twist here, we're just creating space. When we breathe, we create space with each vertebra. And then we revolve a little deeper, creating a range of motion in our spine. Just notice what comes up for you, any differences side to side. And then we're going to come back to centre. And gently place our hands beside our hips. So you can just come onto your fingertips here, really lengthen. Just notice that sensation. Open up the collarbones, open up the heart. How good does that feel? We're going to plant our left hand down. I'm going to mirror you. Now lift our right hand high, so touch our bicep towards our ear and reach, reach, reach towards the right, towards the left, sorry. So you can be up on these fingertips, just gently leaning. You'll feel a really nice stretch from this hip to the ribs, ribs to the shoulders, anywhere in between. Or if you want a little bit more spice, come on to that forearm. Gaze goes up to the sky. So instead of rounding down towards the earth, looking downwards, we're going to reach high to the sky with our gaze. Look up. Notice the world around us. You can see beautiful cloud cover here today. It's been raining, we very much needed it. You might hear the frogs <laughs> on my microphone potentially around and on the jetty as well. When we're ready, we're gently going to come on up and we're just going to switch to the other side. So plant that right hand down. Find a little bit of length, reach that left arm over, gaze goes to the sky. So pretty much underneath your armpit. And just really notice and savor that release. I really love feeling the inhalation here, feeling my rib cage expand. And exhale, just sinking a little deeper. It's a really nice moment of just slowing down and just observing what's inside us, what niggles come up, what comes up emotionally. Also the world around us allows me to notice nature. Hello Arle. When we're ready, we're gonna come on up. Beautiful, lengthen that spine once more, reach high to the sky with the crown of the head. We're gonna roll on over and come in to our cat cow. 
So come on over onto all fours, hands underneath our shoulders, knees underneath our hips, toes pointing towards the back of the room or to wherever you are practicing today. And what we're gonna do is really drop our navel towards the ground, send our gaze towards the front of the room or to me, the river, and then to the sky. So creating this beautiful arch in our spine, shoulder blades melt down the back. On our exhale, we're gonna go the other way. So our gaze goes to our belly button. We're really pushing away from the ground here, rounding out the spine in a C shape. So inhale, come into cow, dropping the belly, gaze goes high. And exhale to cat. A few more like this. Inhale. I think Arlo's noticed a fish. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Just take a few more movements like this at your own pace. You might be still here just enjoying your tabletop position and all fours and you might be moving quite vigorously just really working out any tension any niggles in the hips shoulders anywhere in between and when we're ready we're all going to come into our tabletop position so just point our tailbone towards the back of the room or towards the river for me crown the head towards the front of the room really pushing into all five fingers really pushing away from the mat so we're lengthening our arms squeezing our biceps in towards one another as much as we can so we're going to come into our thread the needle which is something that you'll do in a lot of yoga classes that you'll come to on the internet or in person so we're going to lift our left hand up and we're simply going to slide it underneath our right arm flip your palm up and we're gently going to rest that left shoulder on the ground that left ear on the ground so you can push into these right fingertips. Gaze goes high to the sky once more. Beautiful, gentle spinal twist here. So you can send this right hand high if you want a little bit of extra spice. You can wrap it around, grab the back thigh if you want a bind. This is spice, probably like four chilies, three chilies in spice level. And breathe. You can shut down your eyes, just notice the sensations. When we're ready, we're going to release that thigh. If we have the bind, everyone meet with that right hand on the ground. And we're really going to press into this right hand and reach our left hand to the sky. Open up, gaze goes to the sky once more. Oh, that feels so nice. And then we're going to plant our left hand back on the ground into our tabletop position. Let's take a little wriggle, take a little shake. Just notice what feels good for you here. And when we're ready, press into that left hand, pick up our right hand, and we're going to walk it underneath the left arm. Flip the palm, the right shoulder comes down, the right ear comes down, and our gaze goes towards the sky. So we're creating a beautiful spinal twist here. So we can keep that left hand on the ground, spice level a little bit more, send it to the sky, or wrap it around in the bind. Find what feels good for you. This is your practice and your time to experiment yoga or any physical movement it's just an experiment of what feels good and you will be uh, pleasantly surprised with what your body can do it is stronger and more resilient than we ever think possible Beautiful, everyone, wherever you are, put that left hand down. Reach the right hand to the sky, open up. And come back into our tabletop position. We're gonna all tuck our toes here and practice our downward facing dog. So if you haven't come into downward facing dog or you're not feeling quite comfortable just yet, just practice here, pushing into your hands and hovering the knees off the ground. Something to put the precursor to sending the tailbone to the sky. So just play here. For those who'd like to go on, really press into all five fingers, all five toes, and literally point the tailbone to the sky and crown of the head towards the earth. So our spine is kind of pointing towards the sky as much as we can. Super bent knees here to start with. We're focusing on a nice straight spine. 
And if you'd like to, drop one heel and then the other. Walk the dog. A beautiful, beautiful calf, hamstring, ITB, pretty much everything release. Love walk the dog. It's awesome. So just find what version feels good for you. You might be up here for a couple of breaths and then go back down onto your knees. Really opening up the chest towards the thighs, shoulder blades melt down the back. And when we're ready, we're going to come all to stillness if we have been walking the dog. We're all going to look to our hands and we're going to come into a forward fold. So very common posture. We'll be using this in pretty much every single yoga class you do. So for those in downward dog, bend your knees, look towards your hands and take lots of little steps, feet towards hands. For those in your tabletop position, rise on up and come here however you can. All movement is a bit of compromise. We'll never do it 100%. There's no perfect way to do this. So come into your forward fold in a way that feels natural for your body. So we're going to bend our knees generously, belly on the thighs and crown of the head points towards the earth. We are literally letting the weight of the world melt off our shoulders. So you can have your hands on your shins or if you'd like to grab your elbows into ragdoll. Really push into all four corners of your feet. That'll help support you. And allow the upper body, all of the spine, to just release. Relax the jaw, the neck, the shoulders. And just notice what you're letting go of here today. A couple more breaths. If you'd like to, you might gently rock side to side. And already we're gently going to release our elbows, place our hands onto our shins, and we're going to slide them up to the tops of our knees. Really push in here so our knees can be as bent as we need, but we're going to push our crown of the head or point our crown of the head towards the front of the room. Nice straight spine so it's parallel towards the earth. Imagine we're flying to in, the sky, in the sky. So halfway lift. So as the name suggests, we're lifting up halfway, and then we're exhale, folding forward once more. I'm going to do that two more times. Inhale, halfway lift. Point the crown of the head towards the front of the room. Shoulder blades down the back. Core is on. And exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Now on our next inhale, we're super, super, super going to bend our knees. Tuck our tailbone under. And we're going to roll on up to standing vertebra by vertebra. So really take your time here. Notice it's like a little massage coming up vertebra by vertebra. Once we feel we're nice and straight, we're pushing into our feet, our crown of the head is pointing towards the sky. Big arm circle up overhead, fingertips touch. Back to heart center. Two more like that. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, I can hear a puppy running in the water. We're going to release our hands and place them on our hips. We're going to come back into a warrior one. So simply going to place weight into our left foot, lift our right knee up a little, and just step it back. So our hips are square off with the front edge of the mat. We're not opening up like I'm uh, demoing now. We're squaring them off to the front edge of the mat. We're bending into that front knee. And this back foot is 45 degrees, so the toes are just kind of pointing out to the side, but pointing forward. So hands can stay on the hips here, just to find your balance, tuck the tailbone under, reach that crown of the head towards the sky. Or if you'd like to go on, send the hands high. Length, and see if you can sink a little deeper. Length, and sink. Hold here for a few more breaths. Just really getting a feel for this for the first time for a lot of you. When we're ready, we're going to release our hands towards our hips and we're simply going to take a little step back up to standing. Find length here. Press weight into the right foot. We're going to step our left foot back, heel to heel, back foot to 45 degrees, bend that front knee, warrior one on the other side. So our left hip is drawing forward, our right hip is square, um, drawing back, so they're square off with the front edge of the mat. And when you're ready, hands high and sink. Just take your time here. 
Notice the sensations. And just breathe. Slow down a little bit. Enjoy. We don't give ourselves time to just enjoy the little things enough. You're doing amazing. Well done. And when we're ready, hands come to the hips. Little step up. Big arm circle up overhead, fingertips touch, and we're going to fold forward. So bend our knees, hinge at the hips, crown of the head comes back towards the earth, hands can be on the shins, or you can come into ragdoll grabbing the elbows. Rock side to side here if you'd like, and just release. When you're ready, hands come to the shins. We're going to come up into that halfway lift that we practiced earlier. You know what to do. You got this. Push away. Reach. Breathe. And exhale. Fold. Now we're going to bend our knees and we're going to come back into that tabletop position that we were in before. So plant the hands, step one foot back, then the other, lower down the knees. Take a little cat cow. Drop the belly. Really open up the chest. And exhale, cat. Beautiful, come back to neutral. We're gonna take our knees as wide as our mat, big toes together. Sink our hips towards our heels and come into our child's pose. So for some of you, you might have super tight, hi tight hips just like we discovered in our seated posture. So grab a cushion, a block, something to put in between your calves and your thighs to just take the pressure off a little bit. You can stay on the forearms here if that feels good for you or send the fingers forward and forehead taps the earth into our extended child's pose. So this is a beautiful, beautiful lower back release. So just surrender and just soften and focus on the rise and fall of your breath here. Not any tension in the neck, the jaw, the shoulders, the hips, the thighs. And just feel yourself melt, soften a little bit more into the mat today. We're going to be silent and still here. The lapping of the waves and noise of the birds just being the only focus of our attention. When you're ready, gently press into the hands, lift the forehead up. And we come up into our tabletop position and just make our way over into seated in our own time. Cross our ankles, roll on back or come into seated however is comfortable for you. There is no right or wrong. This is your own practice. Take a couple of deep breaths here and just notice how you feel after day one today. You have made the time to step onto your mat and breathe and move and be. So congratulate yourself. Say thank you to your past self for getting you here. When we're ready, we're all going to take one big, beautiful arm circle to finish our class today. Fingertips touch overhead. And exhale back to heart center. Bow our head and say thanks to ourselves. Sending lots of love and gratitude, beautiful yogis. Namaste.